Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Total War 2 with the 1648 mod, which is a mod set in the Thirty Years' War, which uh, would, would fit very well for this Gustav Adolphus today. So with that said, uh, I'll wish you a happy Gustav Adolphus Day, and uh, yeah, um, as, um, as part of this, celebration, I guess, of Gustav Adolfus Day. We're gonna play a battle in this mod. I have a battle series which will be, um, which I've done uh, of this mod with a few battles, like I think I've, I'm not entirely sure if I have did Breitenfeld, but I'm pretty sure I did Lützen and so forth, so I'll link that at the end of the video. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, go straight into this battle. So, compared to this battle, which will actually be done against the AI, and I've specifically done this one to be infantry heavy. So there's no cavalry except for the general. So that's the only cavalry unit. And yeah, uh, I've split the army up into, or I've basically made three infantry brigades. That's gonna move up in the uh, formations that we see right here. The only thing though is they need to be split in according to what brigade they are actually in. So there's the blue brigade, there's the yellow brigade, and then I've made a Scottish mercenary brigade. We've got a few cannons here in the center. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if you hear it on my voice, but um, my voice is a, or my throat is a bit swollen. Um, a little bit of a cold. Hopefully I won't be coughing uh, during this video. Uh, but if if the sound cuts out to something or whatever I do to hide my coughing, uh, just know that that's what it is. Um, so first off, um, we want to do the formation that we see right here because it is the like as I remember from the battle series, this is this sort of formation uh, or brigade from this brigade formation is the historical one. That would have been used by Sweden. So, we're gonna set these up, but we're gonna set them up with uh, Brigade Vice, so in, in terms of color. So, we've got the Yellow Brigade here. So, we got them there. The Blue Brigade. With the Blue Brigade's gunners. And then we've got the Scottish right here. Right, I don't know why the Scottish ended up all over the place. Uh, so, let's put them right there. Um, <clears throat> so I want to make it a little bit thicker, uh, make the these guys a bit more, not as uh, sort of column-like as they were set up here in the beginning, uh, because well, when the enemy fires its guns, it's going to tear them apart. And then we're going to have a gunner on the side, gunner on the front, gunner on the side there. So then we got the yellow brigade set up. And we can lock that in group selection. Now we're going to set up the blue brigade. Oh, I can already feel my voice is giving way. Um, but I wanted to... I've always wanted to do more videos like this. Sort of on the day of said battle or something like that. Um, but oftentimes I forgot. I mean, I have... It's like... I have thought about doing something for Gustav Adolphus Day for I don't know how long. But now is the first time I've actually been able to do it. Or not been able to, maybe is the wrong word. Uh, able to is maybe the wrong word, but now is the first time I've actually got rem remembered to do it. Um, put the general back here. And then the Scottish. I think we're gonna put the Scottish to take the high ground on the right. We're gonna have to just let's go ahead and do this in silence as I cough. Right, and so there we're done. And obviously, my my coughing and whatever has to become uh, ten times worse when I decide to actually go ahead and start recording a video. But I guess I haven't been talking that much earlier today, so uh, it was. That what's 
kept it at bay. Anyways, let's go ahead and start battle, shall we? So, let's see what the Catholic bastards have brought to the fray. They have a very similar army. Although, I know for a fact that some of these Catholic pike units are a lot better than mine. I believe it's the Spanish pikes. Uh, if you can see what they're called. Can't really see what the units are called, but... There are some there that are a lot better than ours. Right, so my brigades have started opening fire. The general has started opening fire as well. Tell them to hold fire. And yes, with this, I, given the fact that the enemy seems to be moving most of their men towards our center, I'm going to wheel the Scottish Brigade into a position where they can flank the enemy. The enemy is moving their cannons uh, right towards the Scotti my Scottish Brigade. My cannons are blowing away. Let's see what they're hitting. They're firing over here. There's a number of time, number of different type of shot you can do in this mod. Uh, and they've added canister, which is really cool. So with the fact that this is the AI means they're rather stupid. Maybe I should have made two, have two enemy armies fighting me. Um, but some of my brigades here, the blue brigade is taking some damage. One unit right here. This one is receiving quite a bit of damage from the enemy. And as soon as these pikemen get close enough to actually engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, we're gonna see some difference. Sending forth the blue brigade here, so we're gonna have pike on pike. Oh, and the Austrian pikemen are turning towards the Scotsmen. And so the blue brigade will be able to swing in on their flank. What are they doing? If, of course, the blue brigade is able to actually catch up to these guys. Ah, these guys were broken. They were flank fired. Oh, there we go. I've always wondered what would happen, I like how sort of devastating that would be. Two pikes just, two pike lines just walking into each other. Like that. When they don't have sh shields like they would do in ancient times. It would seem as though, just by the, the pressure of all the men, that they would sort of smash together each, each other and it would be just absolute carnage. What we can see here is that we, when I say we, I mean the um, the Swedish, the Blue Brigade, is able, because they were, basically took the initiative on this attack, they've been able to sort of surround them as we can see. There is however a, a small regiment coming up there. I thought the enemy was actually going to make a little bit more of an attack. They seem to be doing one over here, with quite a lot of troops. So we'll activate the Yellow Brigade. It's going to be tough here though for the Yellow Brigade. What I'm thinking is... We might want to hold and wait for the enemy to come to us. And then tell the gunners to retreat. Let the enemy fight pike on pike and then have the gunners come back and fire on these guys on the sides. They are quite... Uh, quite shaken, some of these guys. But s some others aren't. So this one was broken, which means I can turn these guys in on the flank, which means that all these three units should be able to pretty well be able to set up on this side. I'll send over the king 
to lend support to his troops. The pikes will turn in. The blue brigade pikemen will return as uh, they've slaughtered whatever they faced over there. And there seems to be some fighting over here. So, Scottish gunner and Scottish pikemen. For some reason, these mercenaries, Scotsmen, have really bad stats compared to everyone else. Or uh, they like the usual stats of uh, these units. As soon as even the reinforcement starts to move towards this position, the enemy breaks. I'm gonna send the, pi the Scottish pikemen, all of them down there. And we're gonna have the gunners line up here on the hill. Let's see what my plan is. I was going down here. Oh, one uh, gunner unit managed to get all the way over here. And, yes, just as I thought, uh, some of these... Um, uh, these are actually Napolese, so I guess these are Italian pikemen. Baio or Gra well, it's Grand Terco or Tercio. Then Napolis. Uh, we were able to break these guys because we were able to surround them, but it doesn't look too well at this point for the Yellow Brigade. I'm thinking here these guys can turn and shoot on these guys from the side and I'm gonna have to turn the cannon here ah luckily luckily for me these guys routed uh, can I have let's fire on that blob over there so my pikeman needs to be turned over here with these two units this one's about to get utterly destroyed ah these were broken nicely done and I'm gonna order these two to now sandwich fire on this unit blast them away they're shaken the king is firing his pistols we'll get the king over here so he can help out by firing on this these guys hopefully they'll break under the pressure and then I want the yellow pikemen back here. The blue brigade is holding. The enemy general moves very close, way too close. Oh, he's charging the pikemen. Oh, well, he was kind of ish charging. I think it just died. There we go. The enemy general is dead. Oh, the uh, Scottish pikemen, for some re reason, just stopped to their advance. Right. With the death of the enemy general, I'm going to order a general advance towards uh, the enemy. So, Yellow Brigade, Scottish Brigade and Blue Brigade will all march in and finish this once and for all. Fire into that mess. I want to see cannon shot bouncing through these Scotsmen the enemy is giving way as they can see the blue brigade is marching in good order to meet the enemy we've got one unit I was about to say we've got one unit standing but here there they are right they're all breaking now the enemy has been broken except for their artillery I think it's just a matter of time. There we go. Victory was achieved. The Catholics have been slaughtered on the field of battle. They've given way and are running for the hill. But, I mean, you can see a lot of these uh, units still retain. <coughs> Sorry still retain quite a lot of men which I think is a cool cool sort of effect of the mod because you, that's one of the things or at least in the old days um, that set Total War apart from other games is the morale system the fact that the, the soldiers will not fight to the very death they will break by uh, 
you know, circumstances. What's going on here? Oh, they're still firing. The yellow brigade fared pretty badly. The blue brigade took some hits as well, and the Scottish as well. But, um... It went uh, rather well, I'd say. But then again, you wouldn't really expect uh, anything less fighting the AI. Let's go ahead and end and see the statistics. Oh, look at this pile of bodies right here. It, it looked kind of weird with this one right here, what happened here, where the... The, what's they called? The enemy pike formation was able to just cut straight through mine. And what ended up with, you know, it's a little part of my unit left on this side and this on this side. Just, just shoved straight through it. Let's go ahead and end. And uh, see what, uh, what the results are. So we deployed, Sweden actually deployed a little bit less men than the enemy. But if you look at the losses, uh, the quite big difference. I mean, they lost about twice as many men. Uh, leaving only a thousand men left on the enemy side, or 1,200 uh, compared to um, to me that has uh, really twice as many, 2,300 and five. Um, killed most of the enemy army. Most of those uh, men that were killed were actually killed. Where which 230, as we can see down here, were taken prisoner. Um. And the prisoners were taken by... Oh, it doesn't really say. Oh, here, actually. Prisoners... Pri take it, uh, taken prisoners. Prisoners caught. So, mostly by the Yellow Brigade. Yellow Brigade took prisoners. Not so many others. Casualties inflicted. 200. So, a lot of casualties inflicted by the Yellow Brigade. Sustained, also, quite a lot of casualties. Uh, where's the cannon? Only 30? It didn't do too well. I guess I would have had to micromanage it a bit more. Maybe used canister and stuff like that. Also, it would probably have increased if it was a longer battle. Um, but yeah. There we have it. Gustav Adolphus was victorious once more after 400 years or so. With that said, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video and hopefully my voice was not too bad and I didn't cough t too much throughout this video. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys for whatever comes next. Bye!